come up. Oh shit, we weren't syncing. We haven't synced. I forgot about that. Just roll with it. <laughs> just, just do it. Just whatever. This is, this is it. This is the time. This is the time, the time to go. This is the final battle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just the have final to, countdown. I'll just have to guess, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. It, I mean, it's just a hobby, dude. Alright. Um, we're gonna fight... Oh, what the fuck? Um, we're gonna fight... Laugh Man. It's Zan. Zan. This is Zan. This is like oh. one of my more favorite boss battles too. This is yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, it's fun. Um, we we fighting that small guy or are we fighting the monster? Oh uh, well, well, that's up to you to, to decide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, motherfucker, for answering my question. I did really good. <laughs> oh, he has three three fingers. I didn't notice that. Does he have three? I I, did, I actually I don't know. I can't see. It's another it's um another death sword situation I guess I don't know. MLG 2.0. Like this boss is cool, but he didn't. I don't know. It was weird of him being the final one in um, Link's Crossbow Training. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Boom! 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 Fuck. Really, listen, I really like the music in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's Star Lord, guys. Oh god. He's a big fuck. I don't know, man. Alright, here we go. I'm pretty sure that's not Chris Pratt. You, I think you mean piss crap. Am I right? <laughs> you just offended, yeah. like, I don't know how many people. You, motherfucker. Listen, he's a very handsome man. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. You better fucking know it. Yeah, this is, it's a, I don't know, it's very Beyblade-esque, this, this fight. <laughs> better rip, boy. Oh, yeah, that should be the name. It's fucking rip. Better rip. And there we go. Yeah, this shouldn't. I don't know, considering how good I am at this game, I mean. It's just oh yeah, you're long. so good. Oh, I mean, it's not not like you <laughs> forget about like what we're supposed to be doing half the time after playing this game. This is like times. it gets pretty annoying around this part, though. It's, freaking, freaking it's, it's like it's like a game of go karts. Go karts? Wait, no, what's it called? Beyblade? Bum bumpers. Oh, bumper man. Bumper cars. The new Mega Man. Bumper Man. You know uh, what I'm talking about. I'm gonna attack your rear. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hits both of them, but not the thing you're aiming at. Yeah, and fuck you. No, fuck and me. that's it, he's dead. Oh, uh, seriously, that was it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Pretty easy. I expected more from that. I don't know why. I really did. I expected more from that. Nah. It, it's a really easy boss battle, but it's fun. But it's fun. It's really fun, Carter. It's so much fun. Yeah. I love how the the quicksand is just a JPEG image. Also, <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> just it is. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, the budget was really uh, really low. They had to work with what they had. I swear, I can't help but look at that skeleton now and remind like remind me of Doom. I've been playing that too much. Oh yeah, do you want to talk about that at all? Oh uh, yeah, no. It's actually it was really good. I was surprised because I originally played the beta, and it was way too much like Halo and Call of Duty. It, it was just simple, like you you made your classes using certain things. It was really stupid, and a lot of people are pissed off. But as soon as soon as the actual game came out, I think I bought it like two days later, because everyone was rating uh, the game in the '90s. I think it was like '94. Uh, no, it's actually lots of fun and. Glory kills are probably the best part. So it's like uh, you do a certain amount of damage to any enemy, and they'll begin to glow like a blue. And when you get close enough, they'll glow orange, and you'll be able to do like this crazy type of kill. Like either bash their head in, like, or just break the leg, punch them in the face, or yeah. break their leg and use their leg to break their face in. Also, this is, um, we, we lied to you, by the way. Thanks. You're welcome. Uh, this is like the cooler part of the boss battle. Uh, this, is, this is just. Yeah. Wait, oh, so I, I have to talk about Star Fox Zero. I haven't gotten it yet, but like, um, a lot of people have been giving it really bad reviews. 
It hasn't even come out yet. Yeah, it came out in April. Yeah, you, you do not Dude. pay attention to when things come out. No, he doesn't. But yeah. I, why'd I do that? I don't know. You okay, just well, when is your... Yoshi's World World? <laughs> that, that comes out this year, right? It, it came out last year. <laughs> it came out fucking last year. I just year. don't remember. I don't, like, I, I go to the game store, I just don't remember seeing them, you know? No, it's yeah. just one of those things where every time, like, a game comes out, not not always does it have, like, a big, uh... At least, like, whoa! Wally's World's out! Holy shit! Oh my gosh, it's out! No, it's just kind of, it subtly comes out on the day it's supposed to, but nobody really says much about it. I mean, unless it's, like, a really big game, like, do yeah, one kind of was, guy. but... Fuck. But, yeah, like, no, the reason I wanted to talk about Star Fox Zero, right, mm -hmm. is because the reviews, fucking Kotaku's the worst one, have been really, really bad, even though I haven't played it yet, but I don't think it's deserved, right? Like, there, there, there's some things I do agree with, like, how it essentially is just, it is just Star Fox, uh, 64. Like, the plot is the same. Yeah. They haven't improved the plot at all. But, at the same time, Kodaku is the worst one of these. Um, they never finished the game. Which I think is, like, unforgivable. In a review. That's, oh, un that's quite the adjective. Unforgivable? I think that that's a pretty accurate thing to say. If, you, yeah, if you're well, a is... game reviewer, right? You should finish the game, no matter how bad yeah. it is. You yeah. should finish it. Yeah. yeah. On top of that, you should be getting people who actually give a fuck about the games that they're playing to review the game. Yeah. Right? And a lot of these, like, game review agencies, or websites, or whatever you want to call them, they do not do that. Polygon's pretty bad for that. Dude, I'm gonna review a book just from reading the first page. <laughs> and just be like, no, I read the cover. I'm gonna judge. <laughs> my, the title of my review is gonna be Judging the Book by Its Cover. And it's gonna be like, yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it was like, there was like some weird dragon, and I just didn't get it. <laughs> no, yeah, it's. So if you judge, as you can see on the front page of Harry Potter and the. Philosopher's Stone? I think yeah. that's what it's called. Yeah. I don't remember. As you can it see, wasn't the, good. The, the I tree... didn't even bother to remember the title. But as it, it, there was the dragon part. I really like when the dragon killed. <laughs> <laughs> like putting shit that's not even there. So um, yeah. I'm reviewing this thing. Yeah, it sucks. Um, yeah, I didn't like how Harry looks very confused and how the train looks like it's about to hit him. <laughs> it made me upset. <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> Is this supposed to be some kind of fucking hallway? <laughs> uh, I don't also, get it. Um, I don't get it. What that uh, that Stellar fight, that was the first time I think I've ever um, killed him in two cycles uh, during the second part. Oh, cool. Yeah. So that was pretty, pretty interesting. Yeah. And here we are at the mirror chamber. Oh, yeah. So yeah, Carter, we're about halfway through the game now. Oh. And this is, I think, 37? It's so about this fucking time. time! So, yeah, we're probably gonna finish this um, in our, like, 70 episodes. Oh, jeez. So. Plus, the music is really good here. Um, I don't know. I think it's better, like, other places and whatnot. Uh, I also like the, the music of the next dungeon, which I won't explain um, until Carter sees it. I, like, it's... it's really, the it, name? It suits? Is the name that spoiler? Yeah, because it tells you what it tells about. you, yeah, the the... Oh wait, I think I did it wrong. Okay, never mind. Um, it yeah, it's just because the the name of the dungeon is Ta like tells you the location. Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Um, yeah. What was I gonna the, say? Fuck, I the was name say, tells um, you the location. Shit! I never would have thought that. No, it tells you what it's about to, right? So I don't want to do it that. No. No, no. We just like to surprise you and stuff. And just things. fucking lies. Just say, no, that was it. No, it wasn't it. Oops. <laughs> no, it's. What? what? <laughs> yeah. Huh? But yeah, like, um, oh, so something else I want to talk about. Uh, we were talking about, uh, like, completing games 100% mm -hmm. in the last episode. Um, for me, every time a new Zelda comes out, I always end up 100% in the game. Every single time. Yeah. Without, I, I always try to do it without a guide, 
because I find it more fun. And, and that, that's like most of the games too. Whenever I get a new game, I always often try to complete it to my, the best of my ability. Now there are games I can't complete 100%, like Xenoblade. Yeah. Oh, like God. any of them, because that would take me 200 hours. So and, I'm not doing that. And as well, yeah. there are certain things like when you're, if you want to 100 percent the first time, you have to look up in the guide. Like, uh, not even 100, not even 100 percenting, just playing the game. You have to look up a guy. I'm, yeah, no, because there's that, and there are just certain moments. If you like, uh, you're advising me about the one area where you had to like grind all the missions before a certain point, so that way you wouldn't lose them. That, oh god, that was, like, I wouldn't have thought, because I think, like, I grinded all the missions anyways, but I never would have thought at the point where it would have gotten rid of all the missions, so if you were just playing it blindly, you wouldn't have realized. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for, if it wasn't for Zach's help, I wouldn't have uh, gotten all the missions, but it's just certain things where a guide is without a doubt necessary. Yeah. Um, for me, like, yeah, the only games that I've ever 100%ed is um, Spirit Tracks and Twilight Princess, and the only reason why is because I got a, a game guide. And I actually do have a game guide for Skyward Sword, but I've never gotten to um, completing it. I... Also, uh, his name is... Ganondorf. Yeah. Just wanted to, like... I don't know, it's just the first time that his name is spoken in this game, so it's like, uh, cool. Yeah. Um... I tried being Skyward Sword, but I never got... I was never able to do it because there's like just some parts that are just, it's not worth it to complete it. Mm -hmm. Like finding all of the goddess cubes in that game are annoying. I forget what those are. I, I just remember there was like um, some guy that looks like uh, the demon devil guy who was in Skyloft and okay, you have to collect happiness for I, people. I did that. that. That one's easy to do, but it's the other ones that are annoying. Also, can I say too, um, wait just a second, they're going to say... Uh, Oh, wait. Yeah. He's just really upset. And, oh, wait. I think I may have. Anyway, um, the sages um, here, they, they say um, Ganondorf was blind. Um, and for the longest time, I actually thought that he was blind. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why is because his pupils are really hard to see. Yet, wait. You'll see in just a second. I don't know. It just looks like his eyes are just blank. Just plain, like, blank white. So you truly thought he was blind? I actually thought he was blind, yeah. Um, then I realized, oh wait, no, it's just a metaphor. <laughs> yeah, um... Yeah. <laughs> Waiting here. I don't know, just watching the cutscene at this point. I think a bunch of kids, a bunch of kids just watching the movie. Watching the movie while the parents drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but when he screams, he sounds like he's very constipated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What I was going to say. Um, uh, Carter, have, have you ever played um, the Ocarina of Time and beaten it? No. I've only played through part of it, but... Yeah. Well, at the end of the game, it kind of splits off the whole Zelda thing into three timelines. Mm -hmm. Kind of confusingly and really ambiguously. But, like... This is one of the games that happens right afterwards, and this this is actually a scene that happens due to one of the different timelines that was created. What? Okay, all right. It's kind of confusing. Yeah, I've looked um, into it. Talk to you about it later. Yeah. Also, um, in the Wii U version as well, um, you know how like you can get stamps, uh, and some of them are uh, letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's fun to just kind of go around Hyrule and look for like signs and stuff and just translate them. Be like, oh hey, cool. I kind of want to learn Hylian now. Yeah. Well, it's just English. It's literally just symbols and just like matching them with the English alphabet. Yeah, it is. It is just English, it, just with different symbols. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like in um, art class when uh, the teacher taught us um, uh, hieroglyphics, and like I thought it was, I thought I was so goddamn smart. Because I knew <laughs> hieroglyphics. Okay, the thing is, though, just because you know how, like, what letters, that doesn't mean that it's just straight up English. I know, yeah. Because it, 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 it isn't. No. Uh, it, yeah, I mean, like, archaeology and stuff like that goes, like, a lot more in-depth rather than just, like, looking at letters and be like, oh, that's an L. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, L. come over here. Is that an L? Yeah, that's an L. <laughs> L, M, N. 
O P. <laughs> oh no, that's how that's a Q. No, I just discovered. Oh. Just like breaking discovery. An L is Q. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Even oh. though those letters technically represent that, that doesn't mean that's actually how okay. it works because it is a different language. Yeah. So basically, the the toilet mirror is broken, and we have to go look for, for the remaining three pieces of it. And to, to complete it. That's the second half of this game. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Um, where am I going now? I think I'm just going to, um, Hyrule Ca uh, Castle Town. Okay, can I give you heck again? Yep. I'm gonna give you heck again. Oh, give me How heck. many freaking times have you played through this game and you still wonder, oh, what do we go again? Well, I'm pretty sure I have to go to Castle Town right now. Like, you don't gotta be tooting your, my, my horn. Yeah. I'm not tooting Shit. your horn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You don't gotta be pulling my strings and making me upset. What is it like every time I don't know what to say? I always go, eh. <laughs> it's like the best thing ever. Yeah. That is the easiest way to like just break the mood and just like start a new conversation. Just yeah. go, just like the moment it gets quiet, just go, eh. <laughs> Cause it's, it's such a weird way of saying it and you're agreeing to absolutely Nothing, but it just transitions so well. Yeah, for me, it's the stupid laugh, that thing. Oh, yeah. Wait, uh, which, which we've never one? done that on this. Which one? Which one? one? If I want to. Which one? Just, just the it. really loud, obnoxious just, Come on, do laugh. it. You're okay, talking do, about it. You do can it, do okay. it now. Okay, so, like, how does it go? You start off with, like, a shitty joke, and then when that doesn't work. Oh, I'll, I'll do it. I, I'll just, I'll just kind of work. I'll uh, build it up. Okay. All right. So, um, <clears throat> a man walks into a bar. And he sits down at the bar stool, and then the bartender, um, he asks him, hey, how's it going? And then the man says, hey, you're a bartender, shouldn't you be giving me drinks? And then the bartender looks at the man and says, yeah, I, um... <laughs> it's so great. And it's it's useful for um where am I going, jeez? Um, it's useful for um just like random if you're in a conversation with anybody and just gets like really silent, just break out that, <laughs> completely lose friends because of it. Yeah, it's annoying. It's great. I'm, yeah. going to, I'm going to Tumble's bar. Yeah, that's and I forgot, I forgot. So I walked into a bar, and I realized it was a bar. I was still walking into the bar the other day. They gave me a drink, and I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Anti jokes are like the easiest, the by far the easiest jokes to make. It's people, like so... okay, yeah. People do not know how to make anti jokes properly. Yeah. There's okay, so there's like two different types of anti jokes. There's like standard ones that just they're just not funny, and then like there's other ones that um are actually clever. You know. On top of that, um, the thing about humor, right, is that you have to have good time. Mm -hmm. Anti jokes are last priority. You have to do them at exactly the right moment in order to get them fun. It's really all about delivery. Yeah. yeah. So if you start off with an anti joke, it's not funny. No. Like there, there's some cases where you can do that. For example, um, I know there's like one comedian who he's like he was like a really well known one, but he decided that one of his like comedy routine, which he, he always does jokes, right? Never done an anti-joke before. Where he just went up on stage and began eating potato salad in front of the mic. <laughs> just did that. I the, think, oh yeah, you were telling me about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, apparently, yes. apparently this one comedian, he just went up on stage and started eating potato salad. And that's it. And people were like, starting to like crack their ass off and just laugh really this hard. This is funny. This is like because, the delivery. And, and lots of people were leaving. Some people were just staying there like, is this a joke? <laughs> um, and uh, a friend of ours also was telling us about this woman who uh, went up on stage and I think she had like a can of spaghetti or something like that. And um, she just began, I don't know, like I think she like put it in her vagina or something like that. I forget. <laughs> uh, remember that? He was, uh, Ben. It was Ben who was telling us about that. Oh, that, yeah. I, I know what? what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, oh, um, you're talking about feminist art. Is that it? Oh, I didn't even know that, that was, that's what it was. Yeah, it's 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 like modern like art. That, that's what it is. It's it's oh. um oh what's it called um. Oh my god, what is it called? Um, the, the art that's just like when, it's like 
visual and like like you get a person and it's like oh god I can't remember what it's called um, visual art no not visual art it's art of the visuals oh it's gonna bug me now I'll probably I'll probably correct myself in a later episode <laughs> what is it there's like this one channel I think he's called critical yeah critical or penguin o penguin o Z, Z zero or something like that he had like a video up and it's like some guy but he's like wearing this thing so it looks like his face is an ass <laughs> and he's like he like spits out like chocolate pudding or something it's really fucking stupid um, and then critical is like uh, as you can see here the uh the legs around his hands represent him being an ass and <laughs> um <laughs> he's so great he has like he, he's so such a quotable person he's like um one of these days I'm just gonna fuck my shit. I know. <laughs> I don't even know what it's from. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's a funny YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I have to show you the. Um, there's a, someone animated um, a whole bunch of uh, stuff that he said randomly for whatever reason. Was it just like uh, the, the game gr game grump stuff? Kind of. It's very similar. Hmm, okay. Yeah. And here is the wild yeti, who is also a person. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. As you can see here, she's as ecstatic as I am. <laughs> Zach, I think we find her soulmate. Well, fuck yeah! <laughs> Just move it, okay? Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Okay, so this girl's gonna give me a, a drawing, and then, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go show it to a guy. Um, and then... she's sketch. She's fucking great. She's pretty, she's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to end the episode now, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.